Hi guys, welcome to Free to Be Fit MTRW number four in our journey to prepare for the bikini fitness model competition in spring. As you know, it's all I'm doing going all natural, no additional supplements, hard work and sweat. I hope you warmed up from our pile of yogurt in day number 25 and uh, ready to, to hit it. So for today's we have three exercises. We got the sandbag drag, I have a 50 pound sandbag, reverse pull ups on the equalizer and the mad ball abs. We're doing four rounds, two minute work, 30 second rest and you can, if you ha don't have as much time, you can narrow it down to one minute or 30 seconds and just keep on going non-stop. I'm trying to build up uh, my endurance and this month is all about endurance and um, that's why I'm going for the longest stride for the two minutes. Anyway, let's get started. So the first one is the sandbag drag. What you want is, you want to place your sandbag in front of you. I have a 50 pound sandbag. You all, they're also the 25 pounder one, but they're not as um, challenging for this. First, place your feet about slight, slightly wider than the hip width. Point the toes slightly out as if you're going for the kettlebell swing. From here, hinge at the hips, come down. The back should be positioned so that you're not putting your hands way too much in front of you. From here, shift your weight back, move the sand back, jump. Shift, jump, shift, and keep on jumping. Once you come to the back, to the, all the way to the back, what you want is you come around. So as you see, I shift my weight back, move it back, come in. Move it back, come in. Move it back. When you're moving the sandbag back, you're working from your upper back. Same muscles that work for the pull-ups. Non-stop, just keep on going back and forth. Glutes are working. Shoulder blades are sliding back, so don't let the back drag you out. If you jump too far, jump a little bit closer. Exercise number two. You will need an equalizer. You can also do it on the TRX. You get under the TRX, I'll show you the variation. So get under your equalizer. Advance to somebody who's been practicing for a while. Straighten your legs out. Come in, come back. Chest all the way up. Somebody who's just starting, who maybe, like I have an elbow tendonitis, I'm taking it a little bit easier than I used to because I really don't want to regress. I want to be able to use it. Hips up. So what you want is, Knees pointing forward, glutes up, all in one line. Come in, go back. Come in, go back. Foot are all the way on the floor, on the mat. Toes are not coming up. You're really digging through the heels, making the glute work and keeping the up, keeping the your bum up. So it's really just the upper body that's going up. There is no sagging in the hip area. Um, so for the TRX, I have a heavy bag here. What you'll do is, you'll set it up so when you're underneath it, on the extended arm, your shoulder blades are about a few inches off the floor. And you're right directly under the plumb line. From there, you twist the handles in, come in all the way to the chest area, and then extend the legs out. Again, an option with straight legs or bent knees. Exercise number three. I forgot the third exercise. Grab medicine ball, any size, something that you can handle for two minutes, minus 12 pounds, boogie ball. From here, come down, on, come down on the floor, place your hands above the head with the medicine ball. Feet are flexed in a 90 degree angle. Come in, send it up, catch, come back. So that was the third exercise. Those are three exercises. Let's get to the flow. As usually, I'll show you one round, and you can continue on for another two. Until next time, free to be fit. First exercise is a stand back drag. I got my gym boss timer on 12 rounds, two minute work, 30 second rest. You start with 30 seconds so you can get in the position. It's weird just to wait, stand and wait, stand and wait. 
Y vos... Sip of water. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, same plane. Feel my elbow giving me gruff. It's okay, a little massage. Get back to it. Little break, a little massage. Don't stop, you guys. You don't have elbow tendonitis. If you do, you can take a break. It's just I know it's there, like it has this achy pain. It's okay. We'll get to it. We will get there. Breast through the heels. Yeah, I haven't done this in a while, as you can see. That's all right. We can get there. Rome was not built in a day. You know, the most frustrating part is, I think, knowing that you can do it before and right now it's so hard. And I think for me that's the biggest challenge that I'm trying to um, overcome is that my ego is standing on my way saying I can do all those things and I will. At this point I'm not saying that I could have. I'm doing it, even though 
Might be slightly more defined. I'm getting there. Hey, I couldn't even do knee push-ups a couple months ago because, well, forget about knee push-ups. My elbow wouldn't even let me put any weight on it when I'm sitting on the table and putting my elbow on the top. Right now, I can do this. I can even do this. Forget about anything. And I'm working on the knee, which is the raised heel is a blessing. It is not, my knee is not bothering me at all. Because with, if you don't have mobility in the ankle, and to top it off, I have no I have crushed cartilage in my knee. Squats are excruciating and painful. And glute activation is impossible. shoulders, make sure that you stretch your shoulders and your tricep before doing this. So I will do the Pali Yoga Challenge, which stretches the shoulders or do a stretch on your arm.